Hi guys, welcome back to Pixie Moon Madness. I'm here again with Sarah for Super Hair Sunday. So today we are going to be learning how to curl the hair using straighteners. Um, something that I've done a few times, but I'm a little bit scared of heated appliances. I've burnt myself so many times in the past and um, I'm always really wary of using anything with heat, so I'm a bit cautious around the ears, but Sh Sarah's gonna show us today um, how to do this with ease. Um, yeah, we've had loads of tweets about how my hair was styled, which is lovely, but um, yeah, so this is just GHD Quells, um, and I'll show you a, a few little tricks of how to get them um, bigger or um, just more of a wave or, you know, just being able to do the front bit again. I think that's where everyone kind of struggles a little bit. What we're going to get um, Stacey to do is um, to section at her, the bottom section of your hair yep. off. We're just going to use a little so clip flipped. that everyone has in their um, drawers at home. So just, yeah. Is that enough? Yeah, you can do as much or as little as you want, really. Split the hair in half, yeah, like you're naturally doing, um, and bring it around to the full, the front. That's how I do mine. Um, and we're going to start off with each section. So Stacey is going to take a section, and um, we'll leave that a bit there down. Um, and we're going to go away from the face. So it, the position is the curls are going away from the face. Yeah. Um, it's more flattering. And also, um, when you go start to go forward, you kind of do the Hollywood glamour look, mm -hmm. which we'll show on another video as well. Um, so we just want to give a, a quick way of how I do mine, really. So um, I yeah. have so got the GHDs, and they retail from £99 to £129. So we put it in in the section, about two inches away, and then we just pull it round. Thank you, just twist it around. There you go. Mm. So I'm going to get you to I do it. Go. I always find I'm better with the straighteners pointing down on this side and point it up on this side. So I've just clamped it in there quite near the top because I find when I roll it down it sort of gets yeah. lower and then I'm just twisting it around away from the face and pulling it through to the end. Yeah, perfect. If you find that you get a bit at the bottom where you haven't quite cast again and um, what I would suggest to do is not do the whole section again because then you're overheating the hair. Mm. So basically we're just going to just grab that end and then just go over it. Just go over that certain bit, and that's it. Mm. Uh, where people go wrong is if one bit goes a bit wrong, yeah, they, they don't do the whole thing again. So just focus so on the little just end. end. Perfect. So we're gonna get Stacey to do another section this side. So the straighteners go up this go side. Up. Yep. Perfect. You almost have to think about which way you're twisting it, don't you? And then is that right? Twist yep. away. I'm scared of heated <laughs> things. Don't. <laughs> That's it, just keep your hands on the bottom. Yeah, keep your hands on the bottom. That's it, perfect. Hmm, so, cool. also with the beachy wave, it doesn't really matter if you have a few straight bits or anything like that. Yeah. So, you know, it's just about practice as well. Again, I think a lot of people give up after the first attempt, yeah. and that's you're never going to get it right straight away. So, you really need to practice. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets I get it wrong sometimes. Sometimes my hair does not go how I want it to go. When it comes to the front bit, what would you do with these then? Would you just flick it out again the same, but just maybe keep it to the ends? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> so after we do the next sections... I'm getting ahead of you're myself. You're getting ahead of <laughs> So the next section would be here, so your middle section. And you do the same again, oh, so missing out the fringe. You just work your way around, right, basically. Yeah. So I suppose you can just take big or small sections, yeah. can't you? Yeah, so smaller the section, smaller the curl, bigger the section, bigger the curl. We're do making you do the um, curls all the same way, so they're all going away from Ooh. the face, That's because good. it gives you a bit more of a glamorous look. Um, if you do the curls either way, then it can look a bit too curly. Mm. So obviously when they're all going the same way, they're all sort of fit into one bit. That wow. <laughs> And you'll always have one side that you're better than mm. the other. So obviously I'm practice that side. Yeah. So practice your worst side more. I know that's really annoying because you just want to do your best side. Yeah. Um I think I have more hair on one side of my head as well. Yeah, a lot of people do, yeah. yeah. That's good. So what you might have to do is take smaller sections on the worst side. Right. Um or just go over the ends on your worst side. I suppose for fine hair, would this keep longer in the hair? Heavy, heavier hair, I guess it would drop a Probably, bit more. Probably, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't really do much about thick hair that's 
going to drop anyway. Um, mm. Mine always drops a little bit, but I do have a natural curl in it, so it does hold better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so just or just a little bit more product, mm. or you know, obviously spray hairspray at the end. And um, obviously, you've used a heat protection when you've blow dried beforehand, so any mousse or anything like that, you know, is is all going to help to keep it in. Yeah, help grip it. So yeah. the last little bit that we're going to show you is the fringe. Um, a lot of people were tweeting me saying, how do I get the bits to flick back? Mm -hmm. um, which we kind of showed you in the blow dry video, but we're just going to see, show you how to do it with GHDs um, as well. So you literally take your fringe section um, forward. Instead of trying to curl back those pieces, mm -hmm. it just doesn't work sometimes. And because you're better at one side than the other, you'll end up getting a really lovely flick back here with a curl and one really rubbish one mm. and that's really annoying so and yeah. um, this is the best way is to actually get the GHDs in the front section obviously not near your hair head and you actually bend it like that so, so like you that. take it out to more of an angle there no no but obviously just because I'm on yeah, yeah. so yeah it's so just, just straight. straightforward yeah straightforward and you, you literally bend it like you've got a big full fringe and then you just part the hair in the middle you kind of just have to tease it into where you yeah. want it don't you and then so basically when you've GHD'd all the front bit all the rest of the hair you've got then your front bits that are curly but they're not too curly and they're both exactly the same mm. And also it gives you a little bit of height through the front as well. Because so with having fine hair it always feels really flat and boring so it's really nice to have a little gives bit of volume. Gives you a little bit more volume and stuff. Yeah. So there you go, so that's GHD Curls. Um, as I said we've just done a really quick um, way of doing it. Um, we will do some other different curls if that's what you'd like. And if you guys have any questions or requests of things you really want to see, um, they can tweet yeah, you comment tweet. or you can tweet me. I'll add all that in at the bottom of the description box as well for you guys so you can um, tweet myself or Sarah. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. So easy and quick to do and I'm rubbish at hair. So I'm sure you guys will be just fine at doing that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.